Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Sorry I'm moving around. I feel like old Batman thing. Uh, anyway, I'm Miss Lisa. This is my YouTube channel where we talk about anything I want to, science and math related. And what this is, is this is a YouTube, a YouTube playlist where we are going through a chemistry book. We're actually doing this book, which is in the description if you want to follow along. And we're going to be talking about um, solutions in this chapter, chapter 17, but you don't have to be doing this book if you just want to hear me talk about solutions. This will have two videos. Um, one video, I'm just going to sort of talk through everything and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you up close with a over the book shot where you won't be seeing me, you'll be seeing the book where I explain the math. So th there's a little math chapter of solutions. We're going to get to do math. Yay, math is great. But, um, uh, but so it's gonna have to have two videos because if I turn around, I have a board, but if I turn around right on it, then it's, it'll just be better if you could see up closer. Um, so anyway, solutions. Okay, so I live in the South, and here in the South, we drink something called sweet iced tea. I know you don't in other parts of the world, but you can imagine it if you're in somewhere else. So what we do is uh, you brew the tea, so you like put a pot of water on the stove, put tea bags in it, heat it up till it's nice dark brown. Take the tea bags out while it's hot, you add sugar. And then you stir it up, it all dissolves, and then you pour it over ice. It's delicious. I used to always drink sweet iced tea, but then I did Whole30 and I cut out the sugar and now I kind of like the unsweet. I know it's, it's, it's totally Yankee of me, but I kind of like the unsweet now because it's, it's more thirst quenching. It like kind of cuts through. So I kind of like that too. But anyway, I, I grew up 100% sweet iced tea. So, but, so then you go somewhere outside the South and you order your sweet iced tea and they look at you like you're crazy. And they'll be like, whatever. And so then they will bring you a glass of unsweet iced tea and lay a packet of sugar there. It doesn't work. You put the sugar in, you stir, 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 and it's like a snow globe. And the sugar just goes around and around and around and it doesn't dissolve. So this is the background that helps us in the South to understand this, this, uh, the, this idea of solutions. And this is the other one. We in the Atlanta area are all about Coca-Cola. We like that as our soft drink. And in fact, we don't even use the term soft drink or pop or soda. We call it all Coke. What kind of Coke do you want? Oh, I would like a root beer. That is a sentence we say in the Atlanta area. I know it's crazy to the rest of you, but it's true. So I was a waitress for a long time and you couldn't say what kind of Coke do you want as a waitress. So I kind of got trained to say soda. And so my, the rest of my family thinks that, that I must be a Yankee because I'll call it soda instead of Coke. I got my little Coke here. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor of my YouTube channel. And I wasn't even drinking Coke out of a Coke glass. I was drinking water. So this is the other place where we can understand solutions. Okay, you're out by the swimming pool. It's hot. It gets very, very hot in Georgia in the summertime. Regularly over 100 degrees. We don't bad night. Full humidity. It gets incredibly uncomfortable. It's not a nice dry heat. It's a moist heat, the kind that suffocates you. But I like it. I feel like it's a big, warm, wet hug. I just love a good, hot, humid summer. It's what you're used to, I guess. So you're out by the pool, it's hot, it's extremely humid, and you have a Coca-Cola. You're laying out by the pool, and very quickly, you, you know, you, you, you drink a little bit, it's delicious, you go swim a few laps, you come back, you taste it, and ugh, it's flat. It is no good. All the bubbles have come out of your Coca-Cola because it's too hot. As soon as it got warm, it goes flat. Okay, if you have those two ideas in your head, you're ready to talk about solutions in something called solubility. So a solution is where you are um, mixing stuff together. If in, um, in chemistry, um, we do a lot of describing the concentration of a solution, how much stuff is in it. We talk about whether or not things dissolve or not, the solubility. 
we talk about if light can go through it or not. Um, is it cloudy or is it clear? Also, we talk about the color. Is it colorless? Something can be clear and have a color. And the other little, there's two more drinks we're gonna talk about. The drink that is that one is Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid can be clear, you can see through it, and red, right? So color and um, uh, clarity are two different things. So something can be cloudy or clear, it can be colored or colorless. And then the last thing we want to talk about is chocolate milk. Okay, so chocolate milk is a mixture. You can, it is not a compound. If you have a compound like water, water has chemical bonds between the oxygen and the hydrogens, and um, it no longer has the characteristics of oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen and hydrogen are gases at room temperature. They're, oxygen's flammable, hydrogen's explosive. Water is a liquid at room temperature, and it puts out fires. So, it, you know, it is completely different than the elements that make it up. But a mixture still retains the properties of what makes it, it, makes, it makes it up. For example, chocolate milk. If I make a mixture of chocolate milk, you can still taste the milk and you can taste the chocolate. It still reflects the properties of what makes it. Also, the amounts can vary. When I make chocolate milk, I use four heaping spoonfuls of Nesquik, Nestle's Quick. Uh, my husband takes one, scoop, one spoonful and scrapes it off. His Nestle's Quick is barely brown. It is not chocolate milk. Mine is deep brown and has a sludge of chocolate on the bottom. So you get that last little spoonful of just delicious chocolate treat. Are they both chocolate milk? Yes. And so, but they can vary in proportion of ingredients and still be these mixtures. Another thing about my mixtures is they can be the same throughout like milk homogenized milk, then it is said to be homogeneous, or it can have layers like Italian salad dressing, or milk at the farm. Farm milk has a layer of cream on top. It's not homogenized. It's heterogeneous. You can remember this because homo means same, so homogenized milk is the same throughout. Heterogeneous milk has layers. Hetero means different. Everybody's got those words in your brain now? Okay, so we talked about solutions. Okay, now, if let's go back to the tea. We want our sugar to dissolve. If you have a solid that is being dissolved in a liquid, first of all, the terms. What gets um, dissolved is called the solute. What does the dissolving is called the solvent. So what I want you to do is imagine the letter V and pour it full of water. Imagine that my hands are a cup and then I have a pitcher and I'm gonna pour up full of water. So you can remember the solvent is what does the dissolving like the water or the milk and the chocolate milk, but the salt and what gets dissolved like